Oh, sorry guys. Uh, it seems that I completely forgot I was actually recording this at the time. Um, anyways, uh, this is uh, Leave You 87 with Play Squash Game, and welcome back to another episode of our continuing uh, Life is Feudal coverage here. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking a look, because what we need is some clay. And as of right now, I found a vein, but I believe it's too close to an, uh, another base to actually be mined, because they probably own it at this time. Uh, kind of smart by them. Um, this guy here, obviously, when we, uh, the guy we joined, he did not scout out the area very much. Personally, um, there's a kind of a lack of resources nearby this area. It's uh, a little flat, and uh, there's not a lot of, of terrain nearby that, that allows for stone or precious minerals or even clay. Um, so I'm having a little bit of issues finding it at the moment. But we are going to find ourselves some eventually. And we're going to use that area as uh, a spot to grab a lot of clay with a, a cart. Because we're going to need a lot of it for our stone walls. But it's really a bugger of a time trying to find this, this stuff. So, And especially on this map. On the other maps it's a little bit easier to find an area where there is clay. Um, but this one seems to be difficult to actually um, determine where the clay is because you can't just see a, a big vein popping out of anywhere. So I'm running all around my area seeing to, if I can get any clay whatsoever from nearby. We just saw another person over there. What I need to do is I need to find clay. Is that clay over there? Oh, is there clay over there? Hello! Clay, nice. Alright, we found some clay. So, we are looking to to uh, do some stuff there with the clay. So we are going to find our way back and now that we know approximately where it is I kind of know where my my area is over here. We are going to come back with our cart and we are going to do a mass load of clay. So I'll be back with you guys once I get back to town or to our little settlement and uh, yeah see you in a moment. Alright guys, so we made it back. We're uh, just taking our cart out here. Yeah, so we're just on our way to go get some clay. Uh, somewhere over this way is where I found it. I hope I can find it again. It'd be kind of nice, but I'm not absolutely sure because sometimes, like sometimes, I wish you could like mark things on your map. It would make it a lot easier to actually. Hang on, what's this button? Oh no, maybe you can't. I thought you might be able to mark it. I was wrong. Alright guys, so yeah, we're just going to make our way to the clay deposit that we found. And uh, I will see you guys when we get there.
Jeez, I keep forgetting that I'm actually doing this right now. Um, so we're here. We're mining our clay. Uh, we're going to bring back as much as we can. So... Yeah, I still have voice chat too. He was just asking me if I have voice chat because I guess I, I have. Oh, I haven't been using it in a while because uh, lots of the other guys actually don't. So. Yeah, so we're back guys, back home. As you can hear, the chickens are welcoming us. Um, so we're going to go throw all this clay back into our wall near where we've started over here. And uh, just work our way along. And he's going to go inside and clear the other cart uh, that we're going to use. And we're both going to take a cart and basically walk our way back over and we'll have double the clay. I forgot my hammer. Oh, <laughs> Yep, so this is basically what we got so far. Got some walls going around there. Uh, I'm going to work from this way going that way. And uh, throw all this in. So this is where, again, it's going to either speed up or just be cut out. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to see about at least speeding it up or something. So that uh, you guys don't have to watch me just build these walls uh, like this. So we'll be back with you in a moment as soon as we start moving again. Uh, all right. Alright guys, so we're back for a moment. We were just checking it out, and it looks like I was wrong uh, in needing to go get clay. It seems like everything is done with the clay at the moment, at least. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go back into the base, see about emptying out this cart, and then we're going to go see about getting stone, because that's the big thing right now that we need. Stone, and then, of course, the wood, but the wood is so close to us, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, we just need to worry about this the stone from afar that we now need to go get um, the sun though uh, well we got some time but I don't know if we got actual time to uh, go out again with these carts because it takes a while to get to and from so I'll talk to Kenji over here as soon as I get inside the base and we'll see if we want to go out again at this point or if we just want to stick around the base and maybe uh, see about putting more boards inside and uh, maybe we'll learn some smelting after a little bit here and uh, see about making some more of those tiles. But uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do.
think I'm going to go do some boards now. Yeah, we're going to go and see if we can continue with this wall at the moment. Uh, I'm going to go see about cutting down an oak tree and getting some boards, because oaks are the best. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. God darn it. See, this, this needs to be fixed. Like, this is horrible. I don't get it. <sighs> Alright, we're digging out some... Flattening some ground here, because I need to get up. And I can't, because it's too high. So guys, if you build a base, make sure you take into account the way the base is going to look. Uh, and, you know, your terrain, because this makes it an extremely difficult to do right here. Because I have to, there, oh, no, oh, there we go, oh, no, not yet. Okay, I got to lower it some more. Yeah, this was not a very well thought out plan. Because, you know, I mean, even just looking at the base, like, you can almost... Gosh darn it, dude, get up. Get the heck up there. I'm not going to be able to drop this dirt anywhere. Grr. This is horrible. I need a way up and out of this fucking valley that they've made around. There we go. Wow. That's... Stupid. <laughs> God damn. Get around mass produce that there. I don't care what I put there. Uh, I'll be one moment, guys. I'm just going to drop these and then I have to uh, deal with something. Come on, inventory. Pop up. Alright, yes. Okay. Jeez. Alright. I'll be right back. Oak. Oak. Alright guys, sorry about that. Um, so we want oak. The reason I'm saying oak specifically, because oak is, uh, it has a lot of, uh, uh, whatever the stat is, uh, value of wood inside of it, so we can make a lot of boards out of it. But it just takes a little bit more to actually cut down. So we're going to be sitting here for a moment cutting this tree. Unlike the other ones where it might cut down in one. Usually it takes three or four of these bars to, to be finished. So we're going to cut down this tree here and we'll be back. And my saw just broke. Hello? Hello? Mr. Pedro? Oh, sorry about that. We'll uh, let the... let them know.
next man, you too. See you next time. All right, guys, so that's it for now. We are going to take off from the server. Uh, as you can see, we got a little, little, uh, little, uh, uh, what the heck am I trying to say? We got a little visit from Mr. Feudal, because unfortunately our guild leader um, wasn't following the rules, and now he himself has left the guild. So we're going to have to figure out what's going on there. Uh, we're going to figure out where we lie in all of this. Um, I don't want to really start over, but... If we can't get someone to fill guild leader role, we may need to. I'm not sure. I really don't like the way this, this area is built. Uh, I'm almost thinking of going back to my other area. But we'll see. But that was cool. We actually got Mr. Feudal on here. Alright. So, until next time, guys. This is Nick, or this is uh, Levio87 with PlaySwash Game. And I'll see you later.